Berkatay Yahuwah, Berkatay Yahuwah Shai, Kol Halal Yom La Yahuwah, Bah Hasham Yahuwah Shai, Baruch HaKadosh, which means all praises to Yahuwah is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bah Hasham means in the name. Yahuwah Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only called Jesus Christ. Baruch HaKadosh means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, only way of worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. So, Brother Mathati from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. What you see on your screen here is a, a NBC News article, right? And we just going to get right into it. It says, quietly and over some objections, a national digital V card has emerged. The small health call is voluntary and minimal by design to protect personal information and 80% of V people in the U.S. most likely have access to it, right? Which was um, published January 13th of this year. So it says whether they realize it or not, about 200 million people in the United States now likely have access to C-19 digital V card. The digital pass known as the small health card is voluntary and minimal by design to protect personal information. Ooh. It has a person's name date of birth, and the dates and brands of V-doses all contained within a type of scannable bar, bar code known as the QR code. <laughs> and that's a hell of a lot, man, right there in that little paragraph right there, man. You see? And this is all what? Prophecy update, man. This is the book of Revelation. We see, we, 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 we see this devil rolling out his plans, man. That's why the scripture says we are not ignorant of his devices. Now, this is the book of um, Romans 13, and I'm going to start at 12. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, being Rome, right? And caused it the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And it was healed during the Renaissance, right? When Esau Edom came back into power, not only uh, uh, back into power, but what? But those, those Roman uh, 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 countries... For lack of a better word, right? Those Roman territories that the Romans uh, occupied, Esau came back into power within those same places again, man. Which is, this is the revised Roman Empire, you see? England, Germany, France, uh, Luxembourg, so forth and so on, you know? This uh, 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 goes back into the, um, uh, um, damn, uh, Medici, the um the suevi i think that's how you pronounce it man right but those the ancient ten horns but those ancient ten horns is the same as the modern ten horns man but just a different name but anyway it says verse 13 he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men we see esau with his technology he was the first one to, uh, uh, to, to drop a bomb on people you know but ultimately, just going into uh, 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 NATO, right, in the EU, in the destruction they've, they, they have done throughout the earth, right? But let's keep reading. Verse 14, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. That's why in, earlier up in the chapter, it says what? It says, uh, uh, who shall, um, matter of fact, it says it right here. Verse four, and they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast saying, who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? You see? So through his technology, that's those miracles. Through his technology, right? As it is written in the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, it says knowledge shall increase. It says they are wiser than Daniel. Nothing can be hid from them. So the Lord gave these devils uh, 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 the technology for them to do certain things, man. In the sight of these people. You see that? That's why he's able to uh, uh, have a hearing device to make deaf people uh, hear. People who have limbs cut off. He got a robotic limb that they can operate with their mind through a brain chip. <laughs> you see? But not only that, but his military might. A lot of these people couldn't, uh, these nations, they couldn't couldn't stand up against uh, NATO and his allies in the EU. You see? But it says, and that deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by the sword and did live. You got guys talking about, oh, it's the image of uh, Cesare, it's a rapist Christus, this is Jesus Christ. No. Once that nigga died, it was through. His ass didn't come back. Not in that body. Uh, I'll say it like that. You know? 
This is talking about the Roman Empire, man. That deadly wound, they was taken down and they was healed during the Renaissance. Now they're back into power. You see? And the image is their way of life that they push across the world. Verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And we're seeing it now. Why are all these people, all everybody around the world walking around with fucking masks on their face, man? <laughs> like, come on now, man. That is just a small example of what? The giving life unto the image of the beast, man. Everybody is falling in line with what? With what this devil says do. You see? The whole world got, got restrictions and lockdowns. They got to be, uh, 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 um, they got to get juiced. <laughs> right? This is an example of that, man. Which is a prelude unto what we're, what we're reading into. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast would both speak, and we see in it speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed or be cut off from society. See, there's a scripture, right? Let's get this in the book of Sirach. This is the book of Sirach. Chapter 34. And 21, the bread of the needy is their life. He that defrauded him thereof is a man of blood. He that taketh away his neighbor's living slayeth him. And he that defraudeth the labor of his hire is a blood shudder. See, this dude is the bloody man. That's why in the book of Psalms it says, deliver me from the bloody man. What has this dude been doing? He's been taking the, 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 the bread away from the poor, which is their life. So he's going to cut people off from society where they can't, they can't earn bread, meaning they can't earn money. And money is what you use to buy bread. You see? So he's going to cut you off from society. Therefore, he's killing you. Just using it in that aspect, because we got an example of a, a, a Saddam Hussein, um, um, a Qaddafi, Muammar Qaddafi, right? The uh, Haitian president. <laughs> certain guys that ain't that ain't with the uh, 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 with, with with allowing the image of the beast to speak hey, hey if they ain't with it they ass get 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 removed man you see but just showing you that this is what's happening these things is 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 is, is in is in is, is in his works it's in the play right which is why we have to stand on faith man but let's keep reading verse 16 and he calls it all all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. You see, it says he receiveth all, meaning every individual, right? Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell. You go into that word buy is a, a, a gorazo, right? Which goes to the root word agora, which means a marketplace. So you're going to be cut off from the marketplace. You're going to be cut off from doing business. You see, we see down here to go to market, that is to purchase. <laughs> you see, we see it now. If you ain't got your V card, certain cer certain uh, establishments are not accepting you. These are all a prelude. These things are speaking as it is written in the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter says at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not tarry. And we're seeing these things speak. But you say, but these guys say that, 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 that the MOTB is is all kind of other things. Where is it speaking then, man? So here it is. Uh, all this that's the, the brain chips, Elon Musk. What we're he reading here with the the smart cards, and soon and soon this is just this is just a prelude to you know what we're speaking about. So you telling me the prophets didn't see this, huh? Where is this in 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 in, in, in prophecy, man? These niggas ain't got it. But anyway, it says, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, when you go into that word mark, of course, we know that it's the uh, Greek word karagma, which means a stamp and imprinted mark, right? Thing carved or sculpted. So it's talking about a mark that, that, that that's actually cut into you. You see? But it says what here? Karax. A pale or stake or palisade. And this goes into the instrument that they use. Matter of fact, 
Let's hold that there. Let's grab Isaiah the 36th chapter. It's Isaiah 36 and 6. It says, Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, on America. Right? You people that trust in this system, in this society. Right? This place is broken. It says we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. <laughs> you see? So you looking upon this place for support? Nah, it's, it's a wrap for this place, man. Whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. You see? That word pierce. Uh, Naquab. Naquaba. Naquab. To be pricked. <laughs> to pierce. You see? Now when you go in into the Etamai. Let's grab the Etamai. Now let's look up the word canula, right? Now we look up the word canula. It says a turbular surgical instrument inserted in the body to drain fluid or to administer a, a, a device, right? From Latin canula, small reed. You see that? You trusting in this 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 broken reed on Egypt? You see. So it all goes into, it all goes into this word, Karox right here, man. You see? And what did the article say? Right? It says that it would have your, your name, your date of birth, uh, your social security. And it said also um, the, uh, which, which, which dose you took. Well, the root word of, of, of Karax is grapho, which says to write with reference to the form of the letters. <laughs> you see? To record, man. Right? When you write something, you're recording. You see that? So all this is prophesied, man. You see? The prophets, uh, John seen these things, man. Right? So I'm going to finish it out. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that understandeth count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. And that last six is stigma. You see, which. We can find. That word in Galatians, right? Galatians 6 and 17. We can find that word. It says a mark pricked in or branded upon the body to ancient oriental usage. Slaves and soldiers bore the name of the stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked or cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to. And there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with the token of their gods. So if you receive the MOTB, you are saying that Esau is your master, that Esau is your God. You see, going back into the uh, uh, the ancient custom of the all. This is the book of uh, Exodus 21. I get straight to the point. Verse five. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife and my children, I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or unto the doorpost. And his master shall bore his ear through with an awl and he shall serve him forever. So this is ultimately what 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 people are going to do when they receive that MOTB. You see. Now it says what to receive uh, the number of his name. The no is the number of a man. Now, when you go into that technology, because we read in the article, matter of fact, let's read it again in the article. It says contained with a type of scannable barcode known as the QR code. Right? Well, that's what's that's what's within. That's that is exactly the technology that they are using. Now, this is called the UPC. The universal product code. 
is a ball code symbology that is widely used worldwide for tracking trade items in stores. You see? And this is on everything you buy. You see that? And when you scan it, what comes up? The date it was manufactured, the day it arrived into the warehouse or arrived into the store, the day it was put on the shelves, the expiration date, all that is upon what? The UPC is upon the barcode. You see? And this is the technology that they're using. It's all set up, man. We see it happening, right? And the guy that, let's see. They usually had his name on here. Yep, that's the guy. And th this guy right here, George Joseph Law III. Now, there was a section on here that they took it off. <laughs> you see, he saw the devil because it was uh, the 666 uh, thing on here, man. Uh, a little minute ago, you can uh, actually read about it and how this guy even uh, spoke about how his his uh, first, middle, and last name all have six letters, which lines up to 666. But anyway, George Joseph Law was an American engineer for IBM at Research Triangle Park in North Carolina. He published 20 bulletins, held 28 patents, and developed the universal product code in the early 1970s. He devised the coding and pattern used for the UPC based on Joe Woodland's more general idea for ball codes, man. You see? And this technology is going to be put within that grain of rice. You see? And they play on uh, the, the convenience of it. You don't have to stand in long lines at the airport. You ain't got to stand in long lines waiting for the, the cashier, so forth and so on, man. You see? Because this is a microwave society. They want things given to them like that. And we see this plan out, man. That's why the scriptures tell us, man, uh, um, he that resisteth pleasures crowneth his life. Not to be hasty. See, these people expect things to come just like that. And we had that mentality. Well, I say me, myself, I had that mentality when I was in the world. But coming into this faith, right, it, uh, it, it, taught, it taught me how to deny myself. And this is something that the world is not learning. If everybody that look at this as entertainment, they're not learning that either, man. But the true believers are learning how to how to examine themselves, are learning how to deny themselves and learn how to trust completely and Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man? You know. So, Lord, will I'm gonna leave it there, Lord? Well, I hope this was edifying. The water Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh shy for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm gonna give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh shy, Bahachah Kodesh. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity, all in charity. Great shalom.